guys, it's been a while. It's been a while once since we've had sun. It's sunny day. I wanted to shoot at least one video. And it's been a while since I've done a favorites. So this is March and April favorites. I already started shooting this a half an hour ago when I had one issue sound, two issue sweating, have to change into something cooler. And I decided, let's just do it this way. I'm going to show you everything and talk about everything as I do it. So in some of this video, I'm wearing something else and some I'm wearing this. So let's just start with foundation. I am wearing my foundation and I'm wearing the Ritual Defee, which I cannot end. I cannot stop wearing it. I love this. I think I've had it for about three weeks. And honestly, I think I've worn it every single day unless I was shooting a video talking about something else. One or two days, maybe I wore something else, but I just love it. It makes my skin look it lasts all day. Last night, 10 o'clock at night, I think, I'm looking in the mirror. It still looks fantastic. It just, it was 12 hours easily, and it just looked so beautiful. Solid coverage with three drops. And today I'm wearing two drops, which is still pretty darn good coverage. I mixed it with something else that may be a favorite. I just got it recently, but I have the shade 120, which is a little too light, a little too pink, and 130, which is way too warm. So I put in one drop of this to two drops of the 120, and that's what I have on my face now. And it gives me just a beautiful, a little bit warmer, but not too warm, a little bit deeper, and goes well with me. It is hot. I can't find my beauty blender. I did start to sweat a little bit. Normally I would just dab, but... Um, yeah, where, what, I've been missing it for two days. Anyway, a little bit shiny. Take a look at my Ritual Defeat video right here and you'll get a sense of how it worked for me, but I love it. Um, I forgot when I shot this earlier and I forgot again now. Let's talk about skincare first. I have two new things. So Western Atelier has a pop-up store at The Grove and I went there like the first day and I bought her new serum. I am doing the research, I'm preparing the serum video where I'm going to break down every ingredient and what each of those ingredients does because there's something kind of magical about this and I can't figure it out. It looks amazing. I'm going to post right here a short that Gucci Westman put on the Westman Tillier YouTube channel of a woman who is, oddly enough, a beauty editor. <laughs> It's, I, 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 I can't fathom that. Wait till you see her skin. She clearly doesn't wear moisturizer, does not wear sunscreen. Her skin is almost leathery. It's quite coarse and there's lots of damage. And she used this and this alone for seven weeks, not even moisturizer. And I thought maybe I should do that because I do wear sunscreen and I do wear skincare. I thought, I wonder if my skin will change like that. And I tried it for, no kidding, three days. And when I say I tried it, I mean just in the morning. I didn't do any other serums or essences and I put this on and then put on my sunscreen. So I still, you know, couldn't do exactly what she did. I think I also put on a moisturizer and I'm like, and at night I did my regular stuff. So. Uh, to me, this is not just put this on and that's all you need at all, but it leaves such a beautiful finish that you kind of want to. You put this on your face and it just looks gorgeous, but I can't use it that way. Maybe you can. I love this and video will be coming up. Another one where I have shot it, but I haven't edited or posted it yet, is the Kosas. And I mentioned this in another video, and I said, I just don't know about this. And someone DM'd me on Instagram and said, she has better luck if she puts on half and waits for 10 minutes and then puts on the other half, and it will dry down faster that way. And it does dry down a little bit faster, but I'm telling you, this is very loose for more than an hour, and it kind of bugs me. But once it sets, it's really tenacious. Getting this off at night, <laughs> uh, you're doing a double cleanse for sure. And I find that I keep on reaching for it, even though I have feelings of ambivalence towards it. I keep on reaching for it. I think we're gonna be done with it pretty soon. Another thing I like to do with this is, there's a slight tint to this, 
And I feel like if I just need to run to Home Depot or something like that, and I don't feel like doing my makeup, whatever, or in my case, I'm going to Home Depot because I'm buying some plants or a pot, or I know I'm going to come back and garden and get sweaty, so why bother putting on makeup? Then I put on this. And when I, well, Grace, now that the sun is out much later, when I take her for our 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock walk, there's a lot more sun. The sun is higher in the sky, and I can't get away with it anymore. I have to reapply. And I'll put this on over my makeup. There's no balling or pilling. It doesn't look weird or streaky. I don't think it removes all of my foundation. It does remove my color products, but I kind of don't care. So that's how I've been using it, and I'm surprised. Ambivalence, and yet yeah, using it all the time. I am also wearing the Ole Hendrickson CC stick, and I'm not wearing concealer. And I think it looks fine, because I feel while the Ritual Defeat has very decent coverage at three drops, today I'm doing two, it still looks like my skin. It doesn't look makeup-y, and I can get away with just doing this instead of a concealer. But this is also beautiful with concealer over it. Now, somebody asked me, what do I like better, the Tom Ford or the Givenchy concealer? They're very different. For troughing, the Tom Ford is much better. It looks really beautiful on the skin, but it's fuller coverage. And the Givenchy looks really beautiful under the skin, but it does trough. So I have to go in afterwards and kind of take care of the toughing, the troughing. I also find that the Givenchy looks beautiful on the skin, which is how many people use the Dior. Interestingly enough, the other day I was wearing the Ritual Defeat in the 130, which is quite a bit warmer, and I thought, oh, I could go in with my 2N in the Christian Dior in this one, and this has a lot of yellow, it doesn't look like it here, but it worked very well with that. And it is also beautiful under the eyes. I think my cup runneth over, but the real game changer is the Tom Ford. I've spoken about it before. Let's just go ahead with the Tom Ford over this. And I'm just going to take the Tom Ford. I have the color cream. I hope this color, oh, this color might not work. Uh-huh. That's, you know, this is a very good reason, by the way, to have more than one concealer, you guys. Because I am getting a little more sun, even though I do wear sunscreen. I'm still going to get dark unless I'm wearing a ski mask, which that's not going to happen. It looks beautiful on the skin. I love it. I love the Givenchy. I also love, but I don't use all that much right now, because I'm using the Ritual Defeat, but the color corrector in green, if you have generalized redness, this is a godsend. So I get redness right down here and on my cheeks. And when I'm wearing something like my Givenchy Prism Libre Foundation or my Makeup Forever Reboot, both of those are beautiful on the skin, but they don't have a lot of coverage. And I had noticed months ago, ages ago, when I was doing thumbnails, and so the shots were quite a bit bigger, I'm like, oh, I can see my capillaries coming through with those foundations because they're not full coverage. This is a godsend. I'm going to powder my lids because we're going to go on with a little bit of shadow. And what did I get in these last two months? I got the Hourglass sticks and the Victoria Beckham sticks. And I love them both, but my favorite in the Victoria Beckham turns red on my eyelids. I don't know why. It doesn't do it if I have something else on first, but it does do it if I put concealer on first, but it layers over powder shadows really well. It's just something with me specifically, I think. So the one I've been wearing the most is the Hourglass. The Hourglass is more sheer than the Victoria Beckham, and it's just a little bit of something. Also, the palette from Chanel, the pastel palette, I actually have been wearing that. You look at it and you think, eh, I don't think that's really based in reality. It is for me. It is for me for two reasons. One, I love the colors, but two, as a Caucasian person, there is lavender on our lids most of the time. If you look at an eight-year-old or seven-year-old boy or girl, you will see there's a 
bit of a lavender hue going on in their lids. So to me, it's very, very youthful, and I have worn it several times, and I really like it. But I find that the thing that I am using the most are, whoops, the Sicily Paris that I bought for the Nicole Kidman, doing Nicole Kidman's Oscar makeup. I'm wearing them a lot. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this stuff on. I should have been talking while I was applying, but I can't seem to do that. I can walk and chew gum 100%, but I think I'm out of practice because we've had so much cloudy weather I haven't been able to shoot that much. And then when I do shoot, I feel really anxious about it. I know I usually use rougher brushes, but I just got these in the mail from What's Up Makeup and I'm just going to, I usually wouldn't do it with this size brush, but we're going to experiment. And this is the shade Matte Cocoa. And just kind of give myself a little bit of shape. Light touch because the color is a little bit dark. And now just keep my eye open and back and forth because it has a little bit of a tapered edge. And I find that these are better for picking up. And then I'm going to take my Chikahoto and just blend out. I was lucky enough to be on the receiving end of a big package from Surat Beauty. And I did a video, post it right here, loved the look. And there were several products that I had never tried before. I love their blushes. I'm familiar with their cream and their powder blushes but I've never tried this. I had never tried, oh, their eyeshadows are fabulous too. So this is their baton. I can't remember what it's called, but everything will be linked below. And it's a weird texture, you guys. It's a little bit strange, a little bit of a learning curve, but I imagine, you know, Troy Seurat is a makeup artist, so it's a little bit weird for a reason. It was more effective for the product he wanted to create. And when you take off the other side, wait a minute, no, you do that, and there's powder in here to set it. And just go back and forth, back and forth. I love this. <laughs> I love this. And then I'm going to take this gray pencil. I don't love this, you guys, but I've been using it a lot. And I don't know what it is that I don't like. It's not that thick, which I don't like. I want something a little bit thicker when I'm going into this area. And I feel like it doesn't really stay on the wettest part. So it'll stay by the lashes. But the wettest part is, you know, when the lashes curl up, which they are, and you can see that whiteness, that's what I want to cover. But I keep on trying it. So I don't know that it's a favorite, and I don't know that I would buy it again, but the Hourglass is my favorite, and they don't have a gray color, and Charlotte Tilbury has a gray color, but it doesn't stay there. And Surat sent me this eyelash curler, and can I tell you, for the first time in years, I'm starting to use this. Not every day, but I do find that I'm picking it up and doing a little lash curling. If you don't know how to curl your lashes, by the way, Get close to the lid, and just, everybody has their own way, and just close it. I have been taught that you pump about 10 times, and never do it when you have mascara on. It's a great way to break your lashes. And because it's bringing them up a little bit, as opposed to a little more straight, even though these are light lashes, I think, I feel like I could go without mascara. I just Let's talk a little bit about blush. I got three blushes. I got the Chanel Limited Edition. I'm not sure if it's still available, but I'll post it down below, and it is stunning. I'm just gonna put this, <laughs> I'm just gonna put this on my hand. It's beautiful. Maybe you won't see it much on my hand. It just has a beautiful glow to it with a hint of color. I think it is stunning. If it's still available, I will link that down below. And of course, I got the Giorgio Armani, 
only in one color because the other colors didn't look like they would suit me. I would be game for new colors, more colors from Giorgio Armani. And this is beautiful too. Beautiful formula and it has a little bit of a sheen to it so it, it just gives a healthy look to your skin. I love this. However, the one that I am loving the most, that I'm wearing the most, I already have this formula. This is the Valentino, but this color makes me super happy. I've been wearing this a lot. Some days you do your makeup and you think, I, I look a little dead. What's going on here? This blush is the answer. I haven't powdered my face first. Probably should. But it's so pretty. Do you see? I do think. It just makes my skin look a little bit alive. It doesn't come off as incredibly lavender. And, you know, certainly some skin tones this isn't going to work for. But for my skin tone, it does. I look good in pastels, so I'm guessing if you look good in pastels, whether you like them or not, certain pastels, you've got to give this color a try. It's stunning. NARS is coming out with some new liquid blushes and they have a lavender and I'm going to be, I'm going to be there for that. Also from Chanel, limited edition, I think it's sold out, but sometimes things sell out and they come back. So I will link it below and keep on hitting it. This, again, it looks like, oh my god, are you kidding? That's too weird. It's not every day. I, no, it's right here and it works and I think it's so beautiful. My first time trying this product, their balm, and I just love it. The sunscreen that I wore today actually had um, a little bit more sheen, but I find that the Rituals de Fee, like all foundations, their finish will change depending on your prep. If you're wearing a shiny sunscreen, you're going to get a more shiny kind of face. I'm going to go on with the Surat for the brows. It's slightly different than what I use all the time, and that is from NYX. But I have the Dior that's like this, where it's just a pencil, and I like this one better for some reason. It seems to transfer a little bit better. Notice I'm holding it at the end. I'm not using a lot of force, and it's a really nice color for me. But I still do have some grays and blondes, so going in with this, I've spoken about this before. I love it. Um, I need to get out a bigger magnifying mirror to use this to get those new hairs that are coming up. But just to cover my grays and blondes in here, it's fabulous. I love this teeny, teeny little wand. And finally, lips. I spoke about this when I did my Sephora video, how much I am just loving these. And the first one I got I think is called Honey Glow. It kind of looks like nothing. There was another color that I wanted that was sold out and continues to be sold out. And then I thought, why don't I get this color? It's lavender. It looks scary, but you know what? I've got nothing but a little balm on my lips right now, a colorless balm. It doesn't look all that lavender. And there's something about it that is like that, um, that line, rosebud lips, right? I'm loving that. Just a touch of that. Lavender blush, lavender highlighter. I just am enjoying this very much. I don't necessarily do all the lavenders together. It's, you know, I might just do the blush, I might just do the highlighter, I might just do the lips. I've been doing this lip a lot, a lot. I just don't feel like doing lipsticks right now. And that just gives me a little bit of color. And there it is, you guys. These are the things that I have been loving the most for the last two weeks. Look at that shine. Hello. Look at that. It just is just beautiful. And let's just take down the hair. It's really starting to get warm. I think we're going to have heat and clouds all week. And then rain next week. 
but this is it you guys this is the kind of look I've been doing a lot I usually don't go on with this eyeshadow when I'm doing these little lavender lilac look here because I feel like this looks better with one of the hourglass pencils something very sheer and barely there but I have been doing this a lot where I might do it with um, a different lip and I don't know, it just, the, these are the things that I'm using. I'm playing with them and I'm enjoying them. I'm going to that lip color all the time. For some reason, right now, I'm not into lipsticks. I'm into these sheer things, which I've never been into before. Something has shifted and, and that's it. I could start sweating now with my hair down. So thank you so much for spending some time with me. I hope it was helpful and I hope you come back again. Until we meet again, be safe and smart, and I'm wishing you good health.